Tip number two, think like an electronician. I have to admit that when I was at high school, I didn't understand squat about circuits, don't repeat it. But in my first year of university, I met a young guy, a young teacher, 25 years. He was very young, it was his first year of teaching, and he was fascinating with electronics. And I asked him, can you explain things to me? And boom. 20 minutes, in 20 minutes, solved all my problems in circuits. He was an electronician, and he was not thinking in potential differences, but in potential at each point. That changed everything. When you have nine volts here, what does it mean? Is that means that you have nine volts here and zero volts there. It's a potential difference, a potential increase of nine volts. So you have nine volts here, meaning that each coulomb of charge will have one, oh, nine joules. Nine volts here, nine volts here, nine volts here. In the cable, there's no loss of energy, so you always have nine joules for each coulomb. <coughs> then, it means a resistor. Let, let's calculate the current here. Well, here you've got the equivalent resistance is 4 plus 5, so 9. The EMF is 9 volts. So you can find the current, which is E, epsilon divided by R, giving you 1 amp. So you have a current of 1 amp. <coughs> so what happens here? Well, the charges going through the resistor will lose energy. And there will be a potential drop of V equals Ri, which is 4 volts, 4 by 1. Therefore, here, you will have 5 volts. Each coulomb of charge located at this position will have 5 joules. At this side of the battery, you have 0 volts. 0, 0, 0. Right? 0. Well, you had 5 volts before, you have 0 volts afterwards. So the potential drop is 5 volts. I didn't even need to use Ohm's law here for the second part. Now, for a very simple circuit like this, it seems a bit uh, weird to use this system at every point, but when the circuits become a bit more complex, it can be very useful. Trust me.